Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create 3D AI character animation, just like this one you're currently watching now. We're going to be doing that using two AI tools. We'll first of all start by creating our 3D AI character and then we'll head on to make it talk. So before we move on, ensure you're subscribed to my channel, like this video and share to anybody who might need it. Without wasting much time, let's start creating. Hey guys, so right now we are going to head over to ChatGPT. You can either use ChatGPT on web or you can use the mobile app. But for me personally, I prefer to use the mobile app. So we're here on the mobile app and then you can see this option by the left hand here. You can add um, your picture, either um, you add it via your photos, via files, or you just take a picture. But for me, I'm going to be adding a, an actual picture of myself from my albums. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go to um, pictures. Yeah, I want this to load. And then this is the picture I'm going to be using. So this is just like a selfie I took. And then I'm going to paste in a prompt. So this is the prompt I actually wrote down. Generate a 3D male cartoon character sitting in a design studio facing the camera with a microphone in front and a YouTube placard behind. He should be putting on a black t-shirt. So this is the prompt. This is the prompt I'm going to give it. So you can actually write your prompts depending on how you want your character and the background to look like. But for me, this is what I'm going to use. So I just hit on send and then we'll have to wait for ChatGPT to generate. It's even giving us two responses. Okay. So. Is actually processing our image. So it says a lot of people are creating images right now. So this might take a bit. We'll notify you when your image is ready. So all just have to do is to wait for ChatGPT to generate the image and then we'll um, head over to generate our animation. Hi guys. So our picture is actually done generating. And man, this is so cool. This is really, really cool. So it actually generated this particular one for me, but then there were no hands, like the hands were down. So I say, okay, his hands should be visible. And then it actually generated this for me. Boom, it even made him smile. Hey, this is nice. So what we just have to do now is to save this. Yeah. So if you come to this option here, let me, if you click the button down here, you can see save there, you save now it's downloaded to our phone, to my phone. So all you just need to do is to head over to, um, where the website where we are going to make this animation speak, like it's going to talk. So let's go there. So guys, this is hedra.com. So you can see at the top here, at the top, there is hedra.com. So once you go to hedra.com, it will show you um, to log in, the login page. All you just need to do is to log in with your email and, you know, sign up and all that. It's not hard. So now all we just have to do here, we'll have the option to import our character and then we'll add an audio. So you see here the root character. So I'll click on that. Uh, um, it gives us three options here, create image capture image or upload image. So what we want to do here is to upload our image that we already generated. So from here, we'll click on the first one and then our image is here already. So by the left now you can see audio scripts. So once you click on audio scripts, there are different options here as well. You can generate speech where you have where you can type in the speech that you want, that's text to speech. And then it would make your character speak according to the um, text that you type. There are options, there are voice options there. You can actually record audio. You can record directly on this website and then you can upload your audio. So the option I'm going to be using here is to upload my audio. So I'm going to select my audio from my phone. Yeah, so I generated this audio from 11 labs. So this is what it sounds like. Hi everyone, my name is Steven Omeje and I'm a brand designer. Today I want to give you a brief but powerful introduction to brand identity design. So what exactly is brand identity design? It's simply the visual and strategic representation of a brand's personality and values. 
yeah so this is voice are generated with 11 labs in a bit i'm going to show you how you can actually generate your own voice using 11 labs so before we move there um you can if you look down you can see ai filters and this is um the show remove background noise so in case you use your actual audio and it has background noise on it you can actually use this to remove background noise and then there's ai voice changer where you can select their ai voices here so there are different um voice characters here different voices so what you do is you can select the one that works for you but we won't be using that option since we already have our voice so if you look down there you can see add to video so once you click on add to video our voice has been added so um this is the prompt that we are going to prompt our character to the gestures that we want him to do. So you, as you can see, they say prompt your character with emotions and gestures, optional. So for me, I'm just going to say, um, um, smile while talking. Yeah, something like that. Smile while talking and, and slight hand movement. Yeah, so I think this is okay. So before I, um, so while this, so now what we just need to do is to send, you can see this option, this yeah, button here. So we're just going to send this and then our video is going to start generating. But before we do that, if you see here, you can see um, the aspect ratio. If you click there, you can actually make it landscape um, square um, or portrait. So for this one, we're just using um, the landscape mode. Yeah, so that is the um, 19, 16 by 9. And then you can also select the resolution. So we're using 720. And um, yeah, I don't want to click on the auto. I think that is something else. So for this one now, we're just going to click on this. And then... Idris character 3 is here. High quality, AI powered, character anime. This is actually an ad. So all you just need to do is to click on continue or your console. So... As you can see, it says preparing to generate your video. Please do not close this window, this browser during this process. So um, all you just need to do is to wait for it to generate our video. And then we would, um, I'll show you how, how the output would be. So it's actually generating now. So for those that are watching, ensure you subscribe to my channel and ensure you watch this video to the end because I have a little tip for you on how you can use this a method to generate characters anytime you want because there's actually a limitation but i'll show you how to surpass that limitation and generate characters anyhow you want so before while we wait for our character to um generate our videos to generate our animation to generate and let me show you how to generate your voice using 11 labs so if i go here this is 11 labs dot io so i just need to do is to go and search 11 labs dot io so this is the text to speech the the um, prompt that actually gave us to generate my voice so once you go to 11 labs all you just need to do is to log in sign in with your email and then you can see all the options here the home there are voices text to speech voice changers sound effects studio dubbing there's a lot of options here so um if i go to voices for example I think the network is quite slow so if i go to voices there are different voice options here that i can select yeah there are different voice options here so let me try playing one of these so you can you guys can see hey guys here's just a more casual kind of relaxed version of my voice and i think it's yeah, so you can see there are different voice options here. You can... Um, okay, so this might sound silly, but... I just got this... Yeah, so you can even search here, and then you can search for probably um, a different kind of category of voice that you want to use. You can search it here, and then you see the options that are available. And then from here, you can see, if you click on this option that says library, you can generates your own voice here on 11 labs yeah so you see you have the options to add three voices 
three custom voices here. So then the rest, I think you have you 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 um you have to remove from your from the voices if you have a vo like a, a voice that you find interesting you can add this so this is more like your favorite list so these are the voices that are under my favorite list young jamal mark and big steve so this um the big steve well, was actually generated through a prompt so you can actually give um 11 labs a prompt and it will generate a voice for you so I think that's that about 11 labs. So you can just use the select a voice and then to, to generate your, 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 um, your own audio. Once you select a voice that you want, all you just need to do is to go here, select text to speech. And then you can see this option here. You can type in your text here and then you see generate speech here. Once you generate speech, once it's done, you can see the download button down there and then you download it and then it automatically mm -hmm. downloads to your phone. So um, I'm just going to see if our e video has generated. Okay, our video is almost there. Yeah, so our video is here. So let's see what this looks like. Hi everyone, my name is Steven Omeje and I'm a brand designer. Today I want to give you a brief but powerful introduction to brand identity design. So what exactly is brand identity design? It's simply the visual and strategic representation of a brand's personality and values. Wow, so this is actually cool. This is so cool. So um, for those that are watching till this point, um, I actually said I'm going to share with you a little tip on how you can generate large number of this in case you're a content creator and you want to consistently generate this without having to pay for the premium subscription this is what you can do so if you come here you can see i only have 12 credits remaining because i've generated um about two videos before this one so i think the i think i can't i think you have 200 um credits per month but for but what you can do is you see down here once you come down here you can actually sign out here so you see the sign out you sign out here and then you can log in with a different email and then you can get new credits and use so in case you don't have multiple emails to use you can go to google and search how to get a temp mail you can get a temporary email that you can use you can get as much as you want and then each time you want to generate um a content like this and you run out of credits you go get a temporary email log in register with hedra again and then you can generate three more or four and then if that one if you exhaust that you can still go and generate another email and and um, come back and log in again so i guess this video has helped don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i will be sharing a lot of graphics 3d and tech related videos that will be really helpful to you if you want to learn graphic design head over to my channel check the playlists option and then you'll see a free course on photoshop and a free course on canva that would help you learn graphic design to a very um to a pro level actually so don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next one